Meiji Jidai, or the Meiji Restoration, began at the end of the peaceful Tokugawa shogunate, or Bakufu in Japanese, and lasted until about World War I. Measured in the Western calendar, the period stretched from October 23, 1868, to July 30, 1912. The Tokugawa shogunate was a period of peace. It was also a period of isolation. The current shogun, or head of government, Toyotomi Hideyoshi, was worried that because of the Japanese convert's loyalty was possibly questionable. He banned Christianity in 1587, though this wasn't strictly enforced. So, in effect, Christians stayed in Japan regardless of the law. However, Hideyoshi died in 1598, and his nephew was darned the heir. Hideyoshi's line was not to last, though, as Tokugawa Ieyasu killed Hideyoshi's heir and set up his own government, ensuring peace. But there was one simple problem, the Christians. His son, Tokugawa Hidetada, even more pressed to remove the Christians, passed the law in 1614, which stated that practicing Christianity was punishable by death. Christians were persecuted up until about 1620. Afterwards, it was decided that the country should be isolated from the world, and in 1635, the Close Country Edict, or Sakoku, was passed, and Japan was virtually gone. No one was allowed in or out, even the Japanese far out at sea could never come back, and they would never got a chance to either, as Japan, which was equal in technology with the world in 1635, went into a period of isolation which lasted about 200 years. In 1853, Commodore Matthew Perry of the United States forced a message into the country which said that he would return, and when he did, there would be trade, or they would force trade. Matthew Perry returned in 1854 with four black ships to Japan's open harbors. For the second time, Western influence flooded into Japan. After hundreds of years of shogun rule through influence of the United States, the emperor gained power again. In fact, the emperor's name was Meiji. He set out to modernize Japan as it was helplessly behind in the times. And over a period of 30 years, Japan was back at the top, thus the name Meiji Restoration, sometimes known as Enlightened Rule. The Treaty of Portsmouth concluded the Russo-Japanese War. Both Russia and Japan agreed to evacuate Manchuria and return it to China. However, Japan was leased the Lidong Peninsula in the Russian railway system in southern Manchuria with access to strategic resources. The war itself gave Japan great power as it became an industrialized world power with use of these strategic resources acquired from the treaty in Manchuria. Not only did Japan receive these strategic resources, but it also received the ability to annex Japan of which it acted on without hesitation. The treaty also resulted in a great decline of Russia, but also resulted of the rise of Japan. During World War I, Japan lusted for China more than ever, and took advantage of Germany's bases in China, allowing for Japanese control in China when a German base was captured. Japanese took such an advantage of this that China was forced to enter the war as an ally, cutting Japan off from the pursuit of Chinese soil. The Mook Din Incident was a staged bombing by the Japanese as an excuse to go to war with China after blaming the Chinese for the explosion. After the accusations and explosion, Japan invaded and conquered Manchuria. The explosion had occurred next to some vital railroad tracks that were between Japanese and Chinese military outposts. The bomb, however, failed to damage the tracks and was proved as a failure when a freight train passed over the targeted tracks just hours later. The Mukden incident was a driving cause of the Sino-Japanese War. The Rape of Nanjing was a six-week event following the fall of Nanjing, which is China's formal capital. During this time, thousands of unarmed soldiers and civilians were massacred, and 20 to 80,000 women were raped. The rape was by and large fear-raising propaganda for the Japanese against the Chinese. <laughs> On December 7, 1941, Japan launched a preemptive counterattack on the United States at Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. At about 8 o'clock, attack began, sinking many ships with the use of airplanes and torpedo-bearing submarines.
About an hour and 45 minutes later, the attack had ended, Pearl Harbor was left in utter ruins, and the U.S. with only three aircraft carriers. Pearl Harbor was the event that pushed the U.S. and Japan out of the Sino-Japanese War and into World War II. After such a blow as Pearl Harbor, the U.S. decided to get more than payback on Japan. The nuclear warheads dropped on Japan by the United States irrigated about 1% of the Japanese landmass. This devastated people as much as 18 miles away from the blast by covering them in radioactive fallout. 